What have we here? Well, looks like it's Sri Lankan roti, also known as pole roti, pole being the lovely coconut. There you see a Bombay onion and spring onions and they look like she's finally chopping them with a little bit of gluten flour and water. Ah, and of course that desiccated coconut. Wonderful. So Gabriella is preparing that together and slowly mixing it gently and patiently. Blessings and of love. course there goes in the lovely spring onions and the Bombay onion that's finely chopped. I have to tell you a little bit, everyone, about Sri Lankan roti, also known as pole roti. As you can see, it takes a little bit of preparation, but once you taste it, you're going to definitely be invested and want to have this as a regular treat for your family. In fact, it's not uncommon for us to have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's absolutely scrumptious with a curry, um, just sops up that gravy, pulsam ball that you have on the side, and then you know, if you wanted to have it for breakfast, sometimes we put a little bit of butter and jam or even honey, and it's a lovely snack as well for the kids. You see Gubby is putting it on the side to rest for about 30 minutes before she tackles it again, just to give it a little bit of rest. And then out it comes and she starts to prepare it. I can remember the same type of process with my mom and my aunt. I was a little girl just hanging out in the kitchen, just impatiently waiting for this delicious treat to be ready for the rest of the dinner. And my aunt would be telling my mom how to get it ready, you know, how to get the consistency right. And a lot of it is just a bit of patience. Um, Sri Lankan cooking takes a lot of preparation, but you'll see in the end how delicious it is. And people travel many miles, um, you know, for many things that they come to the beautiful Sri Lanka for. But one of them is definitely our food. And as this roti is being prepared, as you see, Gabriella is taking her time to uh, set the, the consistency right so she can get it into the nice round shape that you saw earlier and in the beginning. Do enjoy this snack when you have put it together. See that uh, rolling pin, just a little bit of, um, you know, artwork that goes into it, patience, creativity. And before you know it, um, you, of course, you have it ready to go and prepare it on the lovely hot pan that's ready and just kind of have to stand by as you don't want it to get overly done, but you want that golden crisp color on the side. So do enjoy. Thank you for tuning in and um, we look forward to sharing more delectable treats with you from the lovely Sri Lanka. You remember when I was talking about friends around the world and shared experiences. Oh my goodness, this is a moment of friends around the world. And I love the experiences that friends share with you, the stories, the memories, and this wonderful child memory of waiting by the stove for the snacks just to pop out into your hands, maybe a stolen chip or a stolen roti in this case. And the fondest memories that I can find in the drawers of my memories. My mom is cooking and sharing her stories from her mom, from her godmother. And it's just so perfect. It's sharing stories that put us together and give a sense of belonging. And if we don't have the stories, it's a perfect time for us to start building new ones. This recipe just triggered the will to travel the world, try new recipes with old friends and maybe with new friends. On that note, let's cook together and make wonderful recipes in our global kitchen and you are invited. Please let me know if you want to cook with me. I would love that. Don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe. Thank you so much for being a Gabrielian. And if you're not, please join the tribe.
Serve with love and bon appétit. So good.